Hey guys, Get Level here, and today we're gonna be talking about social media pop ups. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, social media pop-ups are some little graphics that will come on screen from time to time when you're live streaming and that will show your handles on social media to remind people that they can also follow you on social media. Now there are multiple ways to accomplish this, but today I'm going to show you how you can make your own using uh, Streamlabs OBS. It's super, super easy. It's probably the easiest way to get this done. And if you stick till the end of the video, I'm actually going to give away some free graphics for you to make your own own social media pop-ups with even less effort. But first, before we start, I would like to shout out Mufasa Punch for being active on my Instagram account. If you want to shout out in the next video, all you have to do is follow my Instagram account and leave a comment under the most recent picture or video. But let's get right into the social media pop-ups. As I said before, there are multiple ways of doing this. What I personally use on my stream is an animated video that has transparency and for five minutes there will be nothing and then it will play the animation i have that on loop i add it as a media source and that's how i accomplish mine but turns out streamlabs came out with a new way of doing it and it's so simple it's so so simple so well, let's get right into it so here we are in streamlabs obs if you don't have this program yet you can download it i have an affiliate link in the description downloading it is completely free for you but if you download it from my specific affiliate link i'm getting a little bit of money and charity is also getting a little bit of money but don't worry if you're using another program to stream i will also show you how to do the exact same thing so by default my streamlabs obs usually puts me on the editor what i want to do is access my dashboard i am currently logged in with my youtube account so once you get to the dashboard you want to scroll down my account that doesn't interest us we're gonna go to widgets and we're gonna go to sponsor banner and this is what we're gonna be using this will let you upload a few images with each uh, social media and from here it will give you options for how long you want it to show, how long you want it to be hidden, and what type of animation you want in between images, and uh, the size and everything. Basically everything you need to do for a simple animation of your social media is right here. But wait, we don't have any images yet, so let me show you how easy it is to create your own images. And I'm gonna be using Microsoft Paint. So here we are in Microsoft Paint. I'm gonna go real fast, I'm gonna click that little arrow here click paste from and I'm gonna select those transparent uh, social media icons that I got off of Google so we're gonna try the Twitter one we're gonna click open okay I don't like this size we're gonna scale it down for it to be kind of a square okay that's better I'm gonna crop it down okay I'm gonna create a rectangle as a background for my text uh, I'm gonna select this color I want it to fill select this color there we go okay and then I'm gonna click on text uh, make sure white is selected because I want my text to be white and I'm gonna put my at my Twitter handle I guess color one needs to be white uh, hello there you go okay so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and save it go save as uh, PNG um, I'm gonna create a folder here so it's that easy to create those images and once you go here so we're gonna use the two images we're gonna use this default one and we're gonna add our Twitter one so we added that and as you can see you can also add gifs so I'm gonna click change media I'm gonna go here and find the image we just created wait for it to upload it's uploaded so you can see it's right there now under each image, it asks you how long you want it to show. We're going to drag that down, Let's say two seconds, just for, for the purpose of the video. All right, so it shows this and then it shows that. As you can see here, the, the animation in between is bounce. That is fade and right. Now, how do you add it to your stream once you're, you're done editing it? Well, it's that simple. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, you just click add source and you go to sponsor banner add new source you can still mess around with the properties here but let's just click done of course we didn't set the size right but i'm just gonna crop it and that's it you already have your sponsor banner or your social media pop-up that doesn't look too good but 
don't worry because i got you covered i'm just gonna tell you real quick how you can use it if you're using obs studio so if you already use streamlabs you you already know this but if you're using obs studio what you want to do is go up here when it says sponsor banner and click copy this is a link for your browser source and all you will have to do is uh go to obs studio um add a new source that would be a browser source and just paste in the code and as you can see it will show up um, in obs studio i believe that's how xsplit also works now if you don't have any editing software and you don't want to struggle with it i got you i went ahead and uploaded a bunch of images that you can use as templates for your social media pop-ups so this is currently uploaded on imager and all you have to do is just right click save as the icons are already there so all you have to do is just add the text now, why are the icons white and then the background is blue? The reason why I did that is so that you can change the color at will once you have them in Streamlabs OBS. I'm just gonna upload them real quick and show you how your banner could look without any text and show you how you can change the color to match your own color scheme. So here we are, I've uploaded a couple of them and I chose Pulse as the animation. There's a bunch of animations you can choose from. So if I go back to the editor, you'll see everything has been saved and my social media pop-up is looking good. Now, as I said before, you can set a time for it to show. So basically it will show your social media for, I don't know, 30 seconds and then it will hide it for a couple of minutes. So widget hide duration is basically the interval in between every time it shows up and widget show duration is how long do you want it to show. My advice is to not show it for too long. Just make sure that it shows long enough for people to get the information and then hide it. And if you wanna change the color, it's as simple as I've shown on my other video about changing colors of overlays. You just go to filter, you add a color correction filter, and then you move the hue around. Hue shift. Now it's green. Now it's greener <laughs> and you can also play around with the saturation make it pop a little bit more so you can really adapt it to your color scheme also for the people who are not using streamlabs obs the dashboard obviously can be accessed through streamlabs.com and that's pretty much all you need to know about social media pop-ups and how you can make yours very 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 easily so there will be links in the description for those image albums on imager and where you can uh, just right click save as and then edit your own social media pop-ups <laughs> talking about social media i'm gonna have a an animated one on screen right now where you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on twitch you can follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram and if you are looking for some dope overlays we have a new pack that's up called ui and that's gonna be on gumroad.com slash guy level as usual i have been getting requests for having multilingual uh packages on on gumroad.com but the problem is if i render three times animated overlay packs i just can't sell them for 99 cents so we'll see about a way to maybe compromise in the future but that's all i have for you today so thank you so so much for watching i will see you guys next time get level out <laughs>